Top holdings uh, include a lot of private banks. They have disappointed so far, with the exception of, let's say, ICICI Bank. But given that we are at a turn of growth, retail doing well, PSU stocks are now fairly priced, do you think now next two, three years could be dominated by private banks? See, I think FI25 earnings growth is going to be led by technology, banks, uh, you know, oil and gas uh, and metals. And uh, in that backdrop, and when we are talking about the 15% sort of a growth, and given the backdrop uh, where financials are currently, you know, they haven't really done too much in fiscal 24. I think there could be some catch-up game uh, uh, played by BFSI. And within that, obviously, private financials also has a role to play because they would have the highest weighted, so to speak. But what we need to watch out for is normalization of credit costs, uh, you know, and uh, sooner or later, you would have peaking out of cost of funds. And even in the fourth quarter, we did see that uh, we didn't see too much of a dent in the margins. And uh, credit growth in the system, uh, you know, would mean that a 15% sort of a loan growth is very much doable. So across the size space, both the private sector and the PSU sector, uh, you would uh, have specific names where there is valuation comfort. So I think it's a pick and choose. Uh, valuations are much more sanguine in the public sector uh, banking space uh, and also quite reasonable even the private sector banking space. So from that point of view, I think BFSI stands in a sweet spot as we speak. Manish, I'm, uh, you know. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.